<laughs> Hi guys, it's Michelle. So I am here today to do another wig review for you and I am so honoured to be able to do this. So the wig that I want to show you, the wig is called Sophia. The wig is by Dimples Hair. I did not pay for this wig. I was sent this wig for the purposes of doing a wig review and giving my honest opinion to Dimples and to you guys as end users or potential consumers, people buying the product. So that is what I'm going to do. Now, it is part of the Feather Premier Collection. So if you're familiar with Dimples, this is one of the Feather caps. This wig is called Sophia. The shade I'm actually going to show you in is called New Burgundy, which is shade 35T. Now, probably lately you guys have seen me often wearing a lot of blonde shades. I've been becoming a bit of a blonde girl. Um, not a blonde girl, a blonde girl. <laughs> um, but today, um, just to be a wee bit different, I am reviewing this in New Burgundy. Now, Dimples very kindly um, offered to send me this and just asked me to give a totally honest opinion and basically say and do as I please. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. So it is a synthetic wig, it is acrylic. This is the shade Girls. If you love red, you are going to be jumping up and down for this shade. It is gorgeous and because it is acrylic, it is not going to lose its colour, it is not going to fade. It is absolutely beautiful. So this is a longer bob type style of wig has a bit of a fringe on it so it is a feather cap as we've said if you're not familiar with the feather collection from dimples i will do a quick talk through show you the inside then show you on my head okay so before that there is about to be a wee bit of jargon bandied around here so if you're not 100% sure on wig cap construction or want a reminder or would like to learn more I don't want to bore everyone so there, I will just link the video up here you can go and click that card if you wish and I'll link the video down below as well okay so we have this lovely silk top so this is double monofilament super soft against your head it is beautiful Okay, we have a layer of silicone running along the front, along the double monofilament here. Lovely. We have the scalloped lace front, which makes it look like that hair is coming from your own head and allows you to move the fringe out the way, pin it back. You know, it'll look very natural. Okay, so the rest of the cap is fully hand tied, which is beautiful. It's lovely and soft material. It's not rough whatsoever very soft especially the sides which have some stretch for the adjustment if you want to pull it in any ear tabs are velvet covered with some polyurethane and the polyurethane it's nice and soft but if you want to apply some wig taper glue for added security you can do that again at the nape it is velvet however although it is velvet you have below that the polyurethane that you can add some sticky bits and bobs if you like for added security. Now it does have the Velcro adjusters and that would be your feather cap. Very, very beautiful, very well constructed. It feels extremely light on the head, extremely light. Now, bear with me till I pop this on. Okay, so it does have a kind of fringe on it. I don't tend to wear bangs, fringes down, I like to sweep them to the side, so that's what I've done. The fringe length is 4 inches, which is about 10 centimetres. The overall all length of the wig is 13 inches long, so it is beautiful. It is a bob cut, so it is the same length all the way around, and that is really, really beautiful, really gorgeous. It is lovely, it's a nice kind of medium length if you like that, it is, I just love it. I'm going to show you the fringe now. The fringe bangs type layer, I do wear to the side. Now you can have it more to the side but down into the side 
or you could bring it over. For me it's a bit long so obviously I always have that cut if I was wanting to have the fringe on it. Um, sometimes I have it right over like I did at the start, sometimes I will pin it back. It is a good length and it allows for you to do that. You can see with the natural appearance of that scalloped lace front, it is so natural and does look like that hair is coming out my own head. Sometimes I do wear it to the side but, you know, the kind of down to the side um, rather than back with the hair, I will wear it as a kind of side fringe. You know what I mean? This is obviously a lot darker than um, I've been wearing lately. It is a gorgeous red tone. This comes in a whole host of shades. There are so many shades available. You can check out the Dimples website on www.dimplesusa.com. You can follow Dimples on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Dimples Hair. And honestly, have a look at the full range because I think you will just begin to fall in love with so many of the wigs. What I love about them, they are all kind of created in a way that allows them to be quite versatile and allows you to play around. Obviously as we have that silk top, the double monofilament, I can part this any which way I please. You will see very natural parting as I do that. With it being a fully hand tied cap, anywhere I separate, it's going to look extremely, extremely natural. You're going to see skin, so it is not going to be you know, immediately apparent that this is not your natural hair. It is going to look very natural. So, it is an acrylic wig. You cannot use heated tools on this. However, it's gorgeous. If you want to use any kind of styling products on this um, to kind of texturize it or anything, um, you can obviously use products that are produced for synthetic hair. And yeah, you can play around. I play around with this a lot. What I'm going to do before I start messing about too much is turn around and let you see it. So this is it from the front. From the left, this is the left side. I will let you see the back of this gorgeous wig. Okay, and I will show you the right hand side. Okay, so this is not actually cut as a side fringe side bangs, it is cut just forward, like so. Let me see. So you could wear it like this. I would have to have that cut because it is definitely, definitely a wee bit long for me to just wear down. But yeah. You yeah, know, you can do as you like. Obviously change up the parting absolutely to suit your own personal needs. What I love about this as well with this wig, um, the way it is cut to the length of it, does allow for you to tie that back into a bit of a ponytail if that's something that you wish to do. That's something I like to do often with my wigs. I like to pull them back um, as though they were just like my natural hair. So you can do that. The full thing fits back nicely into a little hair elastic scrunchy type thing. Obviously you can do all your kind of styling things if that is what you wish to do. It is beautiful, beautiful. Now what would I say about this wig? What I would say, personally, I think to me, this is an average size wig. To me this Sophia does feel slightly bigger than the likes of the Alexandra, the Erica. It feels bigger than those. This shade, if you like dark hair or kind of your kind of mahogany type shades called burgundy. So it's definitely got this very rich red kind of overtone to the kind of darker brown undertone. It is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how well you'll see there, but with this shade there are lots of tiny, tiny fine highlights throughout of red. It's so, so, so natural, so natural. It's so, so beautiful. It is such a lovely wig. Okay, so I just did a look on the Dimples website and it says that um, the cap size is 52.7 centimetres. Um, it says that the Alexandra is 54 centimetres. To me, 
I don't know. To me, I think this seems slightly bigger than Alexandra. I don't know. I don't know if I'm imagining this. To me, this cap feels ever so slightly bigger. It's not an issue because I've used my Velcro adjusters and I've tightened it up more. So anyway, it is beautiful. The ear tabs on this run like so. Obviously, you can mould them with the wire, but this is the kind of position that they are in. If you're somebody who likes to have the fringe, you can get it trimmed up a wee bit so that it kind of sits just above your eye level or whatever you like that. Obviously, because it is slightly longer, that leaves it a kind of nice way to be able to, you know, like use bobby pins, curvy grips and pull it back and just like pin it or what I've actually done a few times when I've been wearing this wig is I have done a little kind of French braid just along the front here and I like doing that because it will keep the fringe back if I don't want the fringe down but it's going to look extremely natural and it's not a pure straight wig line it's a very very natural scalloped lace front so it's really really beautiful and um, it is a lovely wig it is good quality synthetic fiber in my mind and um, it's cut nice it's not too thick it's not too thin the, the kind of acrylic fibers the strands are they are they are fine but they're not super fine and um, they're beautiful so yeah from me for now that's really enough it feels like weight feels like weight, it's the beautiful feather cap, it is such a natural appearance and it comes in a range of gorgeous colours. So if you are considering this wig, I absolutely would recommend this as another great wig for you guys. Obviously it's very dependent on whether this is a style and a cut that you like. I feel it's lovely, it is a nice density. So I'm going to head off for now guys, thank you for watching. Dimples, Dimples if you guys are watching this. I just want to say thank you so much once again for yet another gorgeous piece of hair. It's absolutely beautiful. This just now is my favourite dark shade. There you go. I've said it. My favourite dark shade. It is just so beautiful. I love it. Um, if there is anything at all you want to know in regard to where you can purchase this from, I will pop a couple of links down below for you guys. I am going to put a link to the Dimples website at www.dimplesusa.com. Please do go check out the site, get in touch with Dimples if you are looking for a seller near you, they will let you know um, where you can go. And honestly guys, I do really, really recommend this. The Dimples wigs that I have tried so far, I have just loved them all, absolutely. They are so well made, so well made. I think it's good for you guys to be able to kind of have a look and see the hair online. What I am planning on doing is a few styling videos with different wigs. If any of the wigs I have reviewed are wigs that you would like to purchase, but you would maybe like to see um, what you can do styling wise, let me know. Honestly, just send me a wee message down below, just comment and let me know what kind of styles you'd like to see. I will try, if you want to see some updos and um, some kind of wedding hair that you can do yourself on your wig, just let me know. Let me know. I love to play around. I love to try and help if I can in any way whatsoever. So thank you guys. Remember that you are beautiful, absolutely beautiful, and nobody else can ever be you, which is cool. You're unique. You're one of a kind. It is kind of awesome. So guys, I will be back soon. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching and tuning in. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.